I would, I would love to kind of show you some of this steel stuff, but it's just, you know, expensive. Let's put it that way. But great quality. Um, you know, I use steel for all my commercial um, gear. Um, you know, I love their trimmers. Love their blowers. I don't like their backpack blowers specifically, but their handheld blowers. Um, you know, obviously things are changing. And I'm moving over to some of the lithium ion stuff, but we got leaf season starting up, and that's when lithium ion is kind of out the door. And we're back to the Red Max and the Mariama, and you know, a thousand CFM and stuff. But you know, it's in, it's insane. I mean, this I, obviously this doesn't have the battery in it, but this is like a toy, right? And they, what I do like is they make it. Really, really professional. You got the metal teeth here. All right. And this is their other one. Um, this is probably a 12 inch or a 10 inch here. Yeah. I mean, one handed application, like nothing. My God. But, and obviously, this is their gas powered uh, 462. But this guy's looking for the info i feel bad he's busy don't don't worry about it though. i know you're going That's good. no problem but nice units here guys all right so we kind of looked at that oh skill saw here here's their new skill saw here that everyone's going crazy about right my first time looking at it here's the battery all right um 48 volt five, so 240 watt hours Again, um, very, you know, a new design, right? From Shervan here, is that who? Made in China, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Shervan, North America. All right, so we know about they bought this from Bosch a couple years ago, but 240 watt hour battery, it's pretty, pretty compact. Um, and right now, guys, this is going to be, I think, the only tool right now that's with this. Now, they're probably going to be coming out with more stuff. All right. Um, but it's a good start. They came out with their most popular tool, right? Their worm drive uh, saw here. Made it very much like their corded um, skull saw, right? Magnesium. Um, just really well, com really nice um, components, you know, well made saw but we'll have to see and here's the ego nexus thing and again guys and this is thirteen hundred dollars okay the the wall that was 199 freaking dollars and and i, I want to kick myself in the groin area for not getting another one because i always wanted one for my trailer you guys know that if you watch me but they have skyrocketed in price now but that four-year-old power station which is not only half the weight of this okay now you got to remember the, the weight of these batteries i mean i couldn't lift this up if i tried i can with with five amp hour batteries in my dewalt power station i can lift it up with one hand carry it to wherever i want to go all right so and, and twelve hundred dollars but listen it's a nice unit right uh obviously you know I don't know, what is it, 2,000 watts? Um, but I don't know. And we all know about they're coming out with some 10 amp hour batteries too. Um, but yeah, here's the. Uh, I don't know. If you like it, go nuts. What can I tell you? But yeah, so here's the skill slot. Now, like I said, are they going to come out with. Um, and I don't know what kind of cell. I, I would think there's 21,700 cells in this battery. Um, You do got four bars to tell you how much battery is on it, which is pretty cool. We know Bosch went over to five. But, yeah, I would think there's 21,700 cells in here. But it's a 48-volt battery. You know, not a bad... You know, I don't know. I think a 24-volt battery is the perfect size. You know, cobalt right, has it. And if you're into the cobalt stuff, right, you kind of know... Um, you know the battery's pretty much like your 18 volt battery but you know with all this big 24 48 56 
like I said, I think Snow Joe has a 100 volt battery. And you know, this is what happens. You get these big, heavy batteries. And I, I just think the DeWalt is such a better option. But, and uh, here's a company that all you guys like. Now listen, great stuff here, right? Um, it's so funny, as soon as I walk over to like a section, the guy who's running it just steps aside. All right, I don't want to get involved. But it's pretty funny. But, um, you know, probably the most popular premium brand levels, all right? The Stablia, um, you know, made in Germany. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're awesome. They're well made. You're going to spend money on them. Right, and this is what I would spend. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, but obviously, I don't use levels every day, right? But when I do, you know, I, I like the Kesson, I like the the, um, the Sola, these are awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna say one's better than the other, but if you're gonna spend that, that price on a, a level, I beam box level, I would rather spend it on this than like a Milwaukee, all right? I just think. They're, the standards are a little bit better, all right? Made in Germany, all right? And I, I, I think they're long time in the level business compared to, you know, now we all know the Milwaukee's are basically empires, right? But again, what you're going to pay for this and for some of the Milwaukee stuff, it's, it's, it's pretty similar, all right? And again, they have, this is pretty much what they do. This is what they master themselves in, right? They don't make drills and impact wrenches. So, you know, that's what, how my mind works. If I'm going to spend that money, I would go with something like this. Now, again, it's not really, not, not the cheapest stuff in the world. But um, drop me, I'll do it again. Um, great, great standard great great reputation and um Ed, these are nice and again these are you're not going to find these guys in home depot right see this is cool i was talking about my my old johnson um 40 i think it's a 24 inch box level with the measurements on it it's so awesome and johnson's been doing it for a long time obviously they're not a premium brand you know level maker but it's funny now, these premium brands, you know, there's a, I think Empire's coming out with something like that extends out, right? Like that, all right? I think, uh, we, I just saw it on Instagram. But it's funny, sometimes, now they're taking it off some of the cheaper uh, levels. And they've been doing this a while, I don't wanna make it seem like just Johnson, but it's a great idea to do it, all right? And here's some other stuff, again, uh, oh, this is only 99 bucks. This is a, um, with Bluetooth. Um, it doesn't tell you the distance here. Probably does 100 feet, maybe. 3.04 feet. All right, and this is Bluetooth. Let's um, hit that right there. Can you see that little dot? 12.03 feet. Wow. I'll tell you, I have my old Bosch, right? I think my Bosch is like a 35-footer. And I tell you, Tac Life sent me one that's really, really awesome. And I think it's like a, a 75-footer. And again, that's like 30 bucks. But, you know, this is, uh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. See, I was using my Bosch to measure, like, um, you know, mulch beds and stuff. Uh, usually I do them in spring a lot. I just start doing mulch bags beds. I ended up losing it, and now I found it. But these are great, and you know, lawn care people can can use these too. You know, to measure. You go to a um, do a quote on someone's property. You know, you kind of look, and we all just eyeball it, right? Or when we do these mulch jobs, we kind of eyeball it instead of you know taking out a tape measure or, or one of these suckers. But uh, this is really nice. I love the screen on it. Hundred bucks. That's not bad. And then they got this bigger monster here. I don't know how much this one is. 
but good stuff. And here's some ladders, $75 for the six foot Louisville ladders. Louisville ladders. All right, we're getting into the DeWalt now. Let's, let's start having some fun here. All right, I'm gonna start a new video here, all right? I hope you enjoyed this section, this part. Um, we're gonna have a separate one on the, the wall. All right, guys, thank you.